Hi there, it's Ben Taylor from Taylor Golf and I just wanted to talk to those out there who are playing the game but they've got neck pain or they've got tied upper shoulders. So um, one of the movement screens in our golf movement assessment is how far we can turn our head to the side and each way. So what we're looking for on this movement is whether we can get our chin to our collarbone. So if I drop a line down from my chin, when I turn my head, does it hit my collarbone? And you might be thinking like, why is this important? I don't move my head around when I'm swinging a club, but what we do move is our body around our head. So you can imagine when I make a backswing, if I can't get my chin in line with my collarbone, I'm then gonna have to do two things, one of two things. I'm gonna either just move my head so then I can move my body and I can make a full swing or I'm gonna to have to restrict how far I take the club back which is gonna then equal less power, right? So what we wanna do, we wanna get on top of your neck rotation, make sure that you can move fully throughout your neck so that then you do have the chance to make not only a good backswing but anytime you move your head, that's gonna really make it hard for you to hit the ball consistent because as soon as you move your eyes, the depth perception of everything starts to go out the way. So um, it's really important that we do have good neck mobility before we try and swing. Um, or if you're in neck pain and you've got tied upper shoulders, that you look to get on top of that so that you can start to make better swings and start to enjoy that game and not spend any time on the bench. So here is my number one neck mobility exercise. Sitting up tall, looking directly ahead, we can start to massage out those muscles near our neck and the tops of our shoulder. And what we wanna do is just tilt our head to the side, away from the area that we're massaging. And if you find a tender spot, just look to slowly massage and pinch on that area whilst tilting the head to the side. And just slowly work your way from the tip of the shoulder towards your neck and then repeat on the opposite side. This should really feel a freeing up within your neck mobility. Enjoy and keep an eye out for the next golf exercise.